to believe and to be convinced in the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also what makes a mu'mina different from others. What makes her different is that she is convinced in the power of Allah. Nothing is impossible for Allah. So if you are a person who's had no children, not at all, 14, 15 years have passed by, you will still continue making dua to Allah and having hope that one day he will provide you with what you are asking. Because you are different. You have conviction and you know that Allah has given you so much in the Quran to show you that others have delivered even after 50 years, 60 years, 80 years of their lives. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So a believing female is convinced as to the Qudra and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I believe firmly and the men as well. Obviously, this is a believer. We believe firmly that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything. He can do absolutely anything. Nothing is impossible for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what I believe. That conviction is what cures you when you are sick. Do you know that? That conviction is what cures you when you are sick. And that conviction is what provides for you when you don't have. You, have, you are convinced because that is the power of Allah that comes in. And it is Allah who is the provider. Ultimately, it is always Allah who does that for us. When we make dua, we need to be convinced as we are supplicating our maker that Allah is going to provide this for me. Why should we supplicate if we are half-hearted saying, well, it might not be and maybe perhaps and so on. So many people who have had cancer, may Allah grant them cure, have been cured not by medicine alone, but by the will of Allah through his power, where he has given the ability to diagnose it at a certain stage when it was early enough to have cured it. Allahu Akbar. And I can tell you something else. Sometimes we are affected by that disease and yet through our dua, Allah cures it for us before we ever went for diagnosis. So we don't even know only the day we die and we meet Allah, we might know one day you were sick, but you had such a detrimental disease through your dua, we cured you before you even went to the doctor to get it checked and to diagnose it. Allahu Akbar. My mothers and sisters, I pause here for a moment and I divert slightly to say, remember one thing, when you are sick and ill, it is your duty incumbent upon you to seek medication. It is your duty. Do not rely only on dua. Dua is a part of it. The conviction in the power of Allah is definitely holistic without a joke. But at the same time, when Allah has given you ability and capability and capacity to go out and seek medication, you must do that. You must go out. You must test yourself. You must check yourself. You must diagnose as part of your duty unto Allah. He has given you an amana, which is the body of yours. This body does not belong to you. It belongs to Allah. You need to look after it. If someone gave you a car to look after whilst they were out of the country and you happen to damage it, wouldn't you go and repair it? Before they came to say this car doesn't belong to me, before anything happens, I better drive it carefully, I better make sure everything is okay. If I've had a speeding fine or two, I better go and pay it up before this brother comes back or whoever comes back and before I have to give the car back. The same applies to our bodies. 